Trag nur ein Code King Power, doch das macht mich nicht zum Rapper. Das gibt mir nur die Pressure und so ein Vielfaches besser. Hey guys, it's Mohammed here. So in this video, we're going to see how to change IP addresses and MAC addresses with Linux and Windows. So we will start the video by changing the IP address inside the Linux. So this is my virtual machine, Kali Linux. So I'll type IPA to see my IP. So this is my loopback address 127.0.0.1. And this is my IP that is 10.0.2.15. Remember, this is ETH0 address. This is a Linux virtual machine. So this is 10.0.2.15. This is private IP address. So we have sudo ifconfig so that we can change the IP address of this virtual machine. And we have ETH0. This is the Ethernet 0 interface. This is loopback interface and this is Ethernet interface. So we are going to name the Ethernet interface. Suppose 100.10.10.1 and then space. And then we have to give the network mask. So what is the mask? I'm using a 24-bit mask. So that is 255.255.255.0. Okay. So this command will change our IP address. It says password. Let me enter the password. Super sneaky. Okay, and then it's successful. Let us see IP A, and now you will see that this is the IP. Here, where it is, where it is. Earlier it was 10.0.2.15 inet. See here with slash 24, and then after the running of the command, this is 100.10.10.1 with slash 24. So now our IP is changed, and this is as simple as it looks here. So this is IP A pipe. GREP with INET so that I can see only the results with INET in it. So here you see this is 100.10.10.1. Earlier it was 10.0.2.15. Okay, so now we have changed the IP address for this Linux. So now time for the MAC address. Let's change our MAC address. So we have IPA. This shows me this is my Ether address, Ethernet address that is 1E22334455566. This is my Ethernet address and now I'm going to change it with this command sudo ifconfig it0 that is the interface name and down it will shut down the ethernet interface like currently this is showing up and now it will be going down you can see it is down so it is from up to down so this is our next command sudo ifconfig and then space the same interface it0 and then hw ether that refers to hardware ether okay so this is HW for hardware ether and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to allot a random ethernet address. Now before you allot something to the MAC address, you should keep in mind that the range of MAC address should be between 0 to 9 for numbers and A to F if you're going for alphabets. So 0 to 9, A to F are all inclusive. So let us try something like DE colon and what can be 3B, something like 3, 3 and i'm out of numbers here six seven colon something like c three and colon come on get last pair six f okay so now if i do ipa now this will show me the change mac address of my linux so you see te 3b 33 and 0f at the last 6f at the last sorry so this is the ethernet interface is down but before leaving, let me turn my Ethernet interface up. So the command was IP config eth0, if config eth0, and then up instead of down. So this is, sorry, it requires sudo. So now we are good. And this is how you change your MAC address with this. So command was if config hw ether, and then your MAC address with range inclusive of A to F and 0 to 9. So now I have switched to my Windows VM machine here to show you how to do both of these things in the Windows operating system. So we have the command prompt and unlike IPA this goes with IF IP config. So we have 10.0.2.15 this is a virtual machine both of them were virtual machine hence they are sharing the IP. This is 255.255.255.0 slash 24 mask. So what is the correct way to change IP address in Windows? Let us see. So if you go to the network settings at the bottom right corner of the screen, we have network and internet settings. Now go to that settings and inside that settings, this is a virtual machine, it is slow. Change the adapter options. So it will change the properties of the adapter. This is the Ethernet adapter currently using. 
So I right click on it, properties, and then shift this bit, and then you have IPv4 link address. This is IPv4 IP address and IPv6 IP address. So this is IPv6 for those who are using IPv6. So double click on IPv4 or just click on the properties. So double click and then we have obtained the IP address as follows. So we have 100.100.100.1. So this is our IP address. Press tab to get the subnet mask automatically. This is 255 slash hit subnet mask. Click on OK and then another OK and then right at my terminal. Let's go back to our terminal and then see what's the IP address now. The IP address has been changed that is 100, 100, 101. And the subnet mask is 255000. Earlier it was 255.255.255.0. And now this is the second method to change IP inside Windows. This is by command. So I type the following command that is net sh in etsh. And then I interface, I have to change the interface set IPv4 or set IPv6 as per your requirements IPv4 set address. And then the name of the interface name equals to so what is the interface ethernet interface so this goes ethernet capital e t h e r n e t it should be exactly same as the interface name up there so this is name equals to ethernet if you are using wi-fi or any other medium it should be or exactly match whatever that is above we have to give a static keyword to because we are allotting a static ip to this windows machine we have 100.100.100.1 this is the test IP and then we have to give subnet mask that is 255.255.255.0 slash 24 mask and then this is default gateway 100 100 100 and then 5. We want all our traffic to go through this default gateway. The first is the IP, second is the subnet mask and the last one is the default gateway for that network. Okay, so this is the full command. It's a long one. Remember it press enter now let's see what it has to offer us it runs successfully and now we have ip config sorry ip config it happens all the time ip config and then we have 100 100 101 with slash 24 mask this has now been changed so this was the second way to change ip address inside the windows machine now let us see how to change mac address inside the windows operating system so i have ip config slash all to see my MAC address. Now, if I scroll down, this is 080027. This is my physical address or the MAC address. Now, I'm going to change it with the network settings. So, just go to your network and settings. And then, inside the network and settings, choose the adapter. And inside the adapter, and then right click, go to properties, right click, and properties. And inside the properties, let me shift this. We have this configure button up top. So click on this configure and this will open a sub menu. And inside that sub menu, go to the advanced tab, advanced tab. And in this list, you have to search for locally administered address, which is right here. Locally administered address. And at the right side, it shows me that you can assign anything or the value is for currently not present. So I'm going with the value. So this is my MAC address value, what I'm going to assign. So I'm going with 1E2F3C5D and something like 33EF. Okay, so this is my MAC address. Click OK. Click OK and then we should be good to go. Okay, it is identifying and then yes, it is up. So now if I go back to my command prompt, let us hope we have ad address as changed. ipconfig slash all. Okay, now this is my MAC address. You see 1E2F3C5B33NCR, which has been changed. Earlier it was 080027AS, and now it has been changed. So this was the option one. Under the configure, you have locally administered address. But this method suffers from a drawback because for some of you, or a majority of you, you will not see or you will not have that locally administered address option inside the advanced setting. So if you are not able to see or if you don't have that settings such as locally administered address inside the options, you can choose 
the next option that is right here so for those of you who do not have locally administered address option available inside their network settings just open up a command prompt and type in the following command that i am typing so we have this command prompt and i want to change my mac address directly from it not from the network settings so this is the option get mac this is the command that will get my mac address so g e t m a c get mac and what i have to do i have to copy the first part of this address inside the braces so copy this control c and then what you have to do you have to go to registry editor okay so once we are inside the registry editor now keep in mind the location i'm going to so first of all i am at the h local machine h key local machine and inside the h key local machine i am going to inside system and inside the system i am going to control z 001 at under that i am going inside the control so the whole path now becomes h key local machine and under that systems and under that control set 001 and inside that we have control now inside control we have class now go to class open up double click on the class and now you will see a bunch of classes inside the class so what you have to do you have to go to the exact path inside the registry editor i'll also put the path in the description of this video so make sure that you go into the right sub directory now right click on the class and then you have to find click on find and then paste the first part of the back that you copied from the command prompt so this is that part and then click on find next and then when you do so you will find that it has taken you to a file and inside the files you have key value pairs like this and what i'm going to do i'm going to make a new string value so go to right click and make a new string value this is the string value i'm going to assign to my network address so this is string value and then where is that okay it is at the bottom you have to be very specific naming it so you have to name it like network address and when i double click on that you have this value data this prompts me to enter the data of that key so this is the let me put something like this and this is my mac address so a e115 533 come on i can't get anything better 2b something and then are we done yet yes so this is 12 letters so we are done click on ok now this will save the network address as this mac address so now we are back on our terminal and let us check if it has worked or not so we have ip config slash all hit enter hopefully it changes now it's the same now what i have to tell you right here right now you have to go to your network settings so just go to our network settings and restart the adapter so that it can take up the changes that we have made okay disable and then re-enable it so now it is taking up picking up changes that we have made identifying and then we have network okay so back to our command prompt let us close all of this close close and then back to our command prompt we have ip config slash all now it will be changed i promise you so now you will see that ae115511 whatever we typed it inside the registry editor so this is the let me show you this is the command prompt this is the registry editor and this the network address key value pair is the same as my mac address here i hope you like this video and i was so consumed in telling you this that i even forgot to tell you that you have to subscribe to my channel please like this video and share it with your friends and please comment down in the comment section that it worked for you okay i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching